Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you a really neat tool for user testing and especially Guerrilla user testing. It's something me and my team adopted most recently in one of the projects we had, and we keep on using it going forward with our user testing sessions because let's say we prototype in Axure and Axure doesn't have a built-in recording feature. So we take one of these tools like let's say Silverback and then we record the audio video user interactions and export it into a single video packet which we can then archive review or use as a evidence as an anecdotal evidence to portray what users exactly think about it the free version of the tool is you can just download and use a to z of it and the only caveat that the exported videos are gonna have a watermark. If you wanna pay like 50 bucks, which is considerably low price for, you know, user testing and UX tool in general, it just removes a watermark and everything else is the same. But from get-go, as you can see, if we launch the Silverback, you have this nice illustration. It tells exactly what the tool is about. It's a really simple tool. It's really easy to use. That's a, you know, most important bit. And as you can see, I have a few different projects. I can create a new project, let's say, test project where I'm gonna capture my highlights for this video right off the bat the tool asked me to define a participant because for each project you can have as many participants as, as you wish and meaning the users you're gonna test so let's say participants names could be John Smith and we can also specify other tags and metrics and dem demographics say our John is a financial advisor and let's say other notes could be this is a feature where you can add a bit more context to let's say other people in a project team who might be reviewing the video and right off the bat and as you can see the user would not actually know that you're recording. Of course, you have to capture a consent, meaning that you're gonna record audio, video, you know, have that all form ready so we know exactly what is gonna be captured. And it's purely security take and it's also that, you know, you don't get any surprises later on. And basically, once we interact with the actual thing, you can capture what we say about it, what we interact of like object-wise, what we think, where we, their eyes go, let's say, because you capture their face and audio and commentary and everything about it. And as you can see, we have that blinking gorilla face, which basically says that I'm capturing um, the content right now. And basically, once you're done, let's say, in a lab scenario where you have facilitator, an observer, and a user, you can export that video and then use it for crunching off the data and findings and, and doing something with those findings. So let me just stop the recording really quick. As you can see right off the bat, it just says you're recording. So as you can see, it stopped the recording and we can go ahead and preview exactly the user interaction and recording of the screen. You can see exactly what user did. Now, the good feature about this is that you can add highlights. So let's say if you're working with multiple people or you just want to add the reminder, you can just add the highlight saying and just adding that type of tag. So exactly you know where it is. You can export the highlight individually or you can export it as a whole or save it as a project file and revisit it. But it's a neat feature to actually understand where the golden bits in user research come in and where the testing bits come in. We have a shelf on the left where basically can you have all your users. So let's say in this project, I can create another session and add another user and you're just gonna have a list of it and see exactly all the participants. But what I like to do is export the video immediately just in case something goes wrong. But basically I would just go ahead and click export, which is simple option up above. I can select the video I want to export, all the parameters, let's say what I want to do with it. So let's say I want to export session, but also the highlights, so that pie chart is gonna be exported separately. Um, I want to probably save at highest quality or high quality, it's up to you. And then you can also export the mouse movement and user video. And as, that's as simple as that. So everything what I did, and as long as we also select the highlight, we can export that. And let's go ahead and do so. And let's say I'm gonna find, uh, let's say a new folder. And 
and I'm gonna export all my files. Usually it does it pretty quickly, you can just leave it to do so. But as you can see, this tool provides you with an ability to like host one-to-one -one sessions to capture qualitative feedback and what exactly user does with the product and then feed that in, in let's say follow-up uh, finding reports or archives or just communicate with other people. So let's just see exactly what it exported. As you can see in my folder for exports, I have two videos. One is the highlight and another one is a full project. And if I view full project, I can see my mug. Simple as that. That's all the tool does and that that's all the tool is. But it's quite amazing because if uh, you know if just like a simple app, you can rest assured that audio video is gonna be captured and it also has nifty features like let's say exporting of highlights and exporting a video. If this fits your needs, give it a go. I think you're gonna benefit from it, especially if you let's say prototype with Axure or any other tool which doesn't have built-in capturing functionality or recording functionality. So I hope this video was useful. Give it a go, it's free. Support the developer if you like this tool. Again, we're not affiliated by any chance, but I just like to review different tools which I find useful. And if you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below, and as usual, stay tuned for more material.